Hi everyone, I'm Larry the Butcher. It's time to better know a craft beer. And in case this didn't tell you, it's from the Collingwood Brewery. It is called the 1854 Kilbrier. Um, let's learn about the beer. Uh, we've dealt with the Collingwood I've tried several of, of the Collingwood Brewery. I think they may actually own the brew box, but... This came from the brew box. I'm not being paid to do it. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> this anniversary beer is commemorating Collingwood Brewery's second year in business. It was not founded in 1854 then. The year 1854 is homage and a nod to the first brewery in Collingwood that was built in 1854. There's your answer, Fishbowl. It's an easy drinking, unfiltered lager, best enjoyed on the patio with friends. It's got a 5% alcohol, and it's a kill prior. I'm cheating on this episode. Um, normally I tell you that this is the first time I'm drinking. Um, they, they gave me two bottles, two cans of this one, and I've already had one. And you know what? It's pretty good. It's got a little bit of citrus, uh, citrus notes to it. Um, you can taste a certain level of hoppiness to it, but it's not overpowering. This is something that I could dig into on a regular basis. Not condoning drinking too much on a daily basis, but if you're going to, this one's pretty good. And you look at it, it's not too bad. Did you, no, you didn't try any of this one. Yeah, this one was in it. Grace? What? I was like two and a half. This is really good. Yeah? I had my first beer when I was two and a half. Well, so I'm talking to my wife right now and my daughter's here. And I actually jokingly offered Grace some beer and I said no. And we're saying that the average age that a person has their first alcoholic beverage is 12. I was two and a half. It's a great story. You're going to love this one. You're bringing down the average. I am bringing I'm, You're the point. The average is coming right down. So anyway, my dad had this uh, Pontiac Catalina convertible. It was like 1967. And we had this system where my dad would just swing the seat back and I would just jump in and hop right into my into my child seat which at the time I believe was made out of uh, pegboard what? I'm old I'm not that old they had child seats back then? well yeah so well this one time I missed and I um there was a spring exposed in the seat and the fabric and there was horse hair um and which eyebrow is it? And you can just make out that scar. I've had that scar all but two and a half years of my life. So I got that. Um, they rushed me to the hospital, they stitched me up. Uh, child abuse was a big issue back then. Not that it's never been a big issue, but my parents got ran through the ringers. Whenever my dad would talk about it, he would get mad at me. It's fucking two and a half. Anyway. Um, so we went to my Uncle Robbie's house and, and, you know, friends on Facebook, you know, you're going to watch this, cousins on Facebook. You may remember this and comment on my Facebook page about this or comment on the YouTube channel. That'd be even better. So, um, we had stubbies in, in Canada back then. And apparently we come from the hospital. I'm all stitched up. It's like four hours later than it was supposed to be. I make a beeline right for my Uncle Robbie's beer. He just cracked it open and I chugged it. Two and a half years old. I I only know this because my parents tell, told me. And uh, it's been a while since we've told, shared that story. But that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I had my second beer when I was 22. So, 
that's my story. This is pretty good. Guys, I recommend that you track down 1854. I'm probably not saying that right. I'm not. It's Kellebriar. <laughs> oh well. This was a really good beer. It was nice and smooth. And, you know, it, it tastes like another one. Um, it's the last one left for today. I'm not going to have any more beer today. Um, I got a long day tomorrow. And since I bought a motorcycle, um, I don't want to jeopardize anything. Can't thank you guys enough for tuning in and watching for whatever amount of time this edits down to. I, of course, am Larry the Butcher. Don't forget to like this episode. Comment down below. Have you had a killer briar? Killer briar. Killer briar. Briar. Um. Please hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Bye.